everybody and welcome back to Very Biased Opinions. The Champions League is back and it's back for the knockout stages and we're here to give you our predictions. And when I say we, I really just mean me because Thomas can't be with us on this video I'm afraid but he will still be given his scores and I think he might be back for one game in particular. I think you can guess which one. As always there are timestamps down below in the description so you can cherry pick and jump to certain matches but really you should be listening to every single word that I say and drinking in every single thing. And without further ado let's move into the first match because we've got some crackers to go through. Atletico Madrid versus Liverpool. So obviously Liverpool are runaway leaders at the top of the Premier League. We all know this. They're virtually unbeatable. And if you had to pick a side to go out and beat the unbeatable, you would pick Atletico Madrid. Or they'd certainly be at the top of that list. Diego Simeone has made a habit over the years of being extremely hard to beat. However, and I know we're going to get pelters in the comments for this because me and Tom ever do if we ever, ever say any slur against Atletico Madrid. But they're not the side they used to be. They lost far too many players in the summer. They used to be very, very gritty, hard to play against. Now they're just sliding into boring. And I hate to say that, they're floundering a little bit in fourth place in the Liga. Not secured in any way, shape or form that they're going to get a Champions League place next season. And this is going to be a really tough game. I don't think they'd have faced anything like Liverpool all season. That's battering ram of a side that just keep going and going and going. And I do think that even though this won't be easy for Liverpool, if they can get goals, there is no way Atletico Madrid can, can really hurt them in an attacking sense. So, although, you know, again, I have to say, I think Liverpool are going to win this. I think they're going to win both legs. This one won't be easy, of course, and I think Liverpool are going to win this 1-0. Borussia Dortmund versus Paris Saint-Germain. Oh my God, is this the tie of the round or is this the tie of the round? We go from the last game where you think goals are going to be hard to come by. You think they're going to be easy pickings in this game. Both sides are excellent going forward. Both sides are shaky as hell at the back. PSG have, of course, run away leaders in the French League. Have they faced anything in attacking threat that Borussia Dortmund could offer? I doubt it. The French League is pretty weak, it has to be said. But going forward, when you've got Mbappe and you've got Neymar, you've always got a chance of winning any game and any tie and... They do have a chance of winning this competition. Both of these sides do love to implode. Dortmund kind of got their implosion out of the way early doors. They were runaway leaders at one point, then messed up. Now they've signed Haaland and he's just set the whole of European football alight again, banging in goals for fun. Jadon Sancho too, also banging in goals for fun. So they're still in that title race in the Bundesliga. And this game, wow. This game should be excellent. The only thing I worry about Dortmund is they ship goals against average Bundesliga sides. So you just wonder, coming up against Neymar and Mbappe and the rest of PSG, you shouldn't forget them, you do worry if they're going to be able to keep clean sheets. So it is going to be a matter of who can score the most goals. And I'm going crazy in this one. I think this is going to be a fantastic match. Borussia Dortmund 4, PSG 2. Moving on to the games on Wednesday. At ladder versus Valencia. So definitely a step down in quality from the games we saw the day before. Uh, Atlanta, what a Cinderella story. A little bit like Leicester, you would say, a few years ago. A fantastic run they have done to get to this stage of the competition. And they're still in fourth place in Serie A. So they've definitely given themselves a chance to stay in the Champions League next season. But Valencia did come top of Chelsea's group. However, they're not doing great in La Liga. They are only in seventh place and very, very inconsistent, as both of these sides are. So it's a hard one to pick. I think this one's going to be a draw. I think this is going to be a one all draw, which might not be a bad result for Atalanta. Tottenham Hotspur versus RB Leipzig. So the bad boys of German football up against one of the eternal bad boys of management in Jose Mourinho. So Leipzig are pushing Dortmund all the way in the Bundesliga this season. However, they did have a big chance to beat them at the weekend and it was a nil-nil draw. Tino Werner, who has been excellent for this, this season, missed an absolute sitter for a chance for them to overtake Bayern. But they are still neck and neck with them. It's just whether they do have the don't know the right word, but whether they can finally get the job done and beat Bayern Munich, who, could, who seemingly win the title every single year. We talk about Spurs being quite dull to watch, really, every week on this programme. We talk every week about games they should win, but whether they will win is another matter. Very much Mourinho just grinding out result after result after result. He somehow does have a knack of getting the job done, and I do think... 
Or do I? I don't know, this one's going to be tough. I have a feeling Spurs will win it. Might not go so great to them in the second leg, but I'm just going to put Tottenham down for a win. I think it'll be a 2-1 win for Spurs. Okay, everybody, that is the halfway point before we jump into the Europa League ties. I just want to say thank you to everybody that supports us on this channel. We really appreciate any views that we get. We love all the comments that you put down there in the description. Tom does get through them. He'll get through them eventually. He'll send you a, a business reply within two to three or sometimes ten working days. If you like the videos, please give them a like. That helps us out so much. And if you like the content on the channel, think about subscribing. And if you do subscribe, hit that notify bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All of our videos are in association with Grandstand Betters. If you haven't gone and checked them out, what are you doing? They're fantastic tipsters. They'll help you out with your sports betting. They'll win you some cash to go over to Grandstand Betters and win yourself some money. That'll do it for the promo. Let's move on to the Europa League. FC Copenhagen versus Celtic. So I don't know a lot about FC Copenhagen, but they are second in the Danish league at the moment, which is quite surprising. I think they usually win the league. But they are in second place at the moment. Celtic, it looked like they were going to be in a big battle with Rangers when they lost to Rangers earlier on in the season. But since then, they've just pulled away, as they always do, and they're 10 points clear. And it's seeming that they are going to win the title again. So all, they will be hoping they can go far in this Europa League. And I don't see any reason why they can't. I don't see any reason why they can't win this tie. I actually think Celtic might win this. They sort of put to bed a few myths about Scottish football away from home this season. And I think it'll be a good showing for Neil Lennon's men. 2-0 win for Celtic. Olympiakos versus Arsenal. So I don't have Thomas here who's going to slag Arsenal off all day long. So I'm not going to do that. I think they are doing okay under Mikel Arteta. It's very slow transitional period. But they're going to give him the time to do that. And why wouldn't they? Um, it doesn't even really matter if they're not in Europe next season. It's a, it's a rebuilding process going on there. Olympiakos dropped out of the Champions League. <sighs> Stereotype of Greek sides, really. You say they're very good at home, they're not so good away. So you would expect Arsenal to get through this tie. I actually don't think this, they'll win this one, though. I think it'll be a draw. I'm going to say this will be a one all draw. Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Espanyol. So Wolves did fantastically well to get through the group stages, but many would have expected to do that instead, including myself. This is a really favourable tie for Wolves. Espanyol have been terrible in the league of this season and sit bottom place. You have to think Wolves are going to be too strong for this Espanyol side, which is great for Wolves. I really hope they do go far in this competition. And I think Wolves will win this one. It'll be nice and comfortable. They never go and smash sides, so it'll be a nice, easy 2-0 win for the Wolves. Rangers versus Sporting. Braga. Oh, Stevie G. Stevie G, what has happened to your Rangers, boys? A few months ago, or a couple of months ago, you beat Celtic at Celtic Park, or Parkhead, or whatever they call it, and you were dancing around on the pitch, and it was a wonderful scene, everyone thought, finally, Rangers are going to win the league. They're going to push Celtic all the way, and they're going to get it done for the first time in what seems like at least 50 or 60 years. And since then, they've been poor. They've been losing games, losing games from winning positions, including a really shock one against Kilmarnock, which has just happened. Sporting Braga seemingly also seem to be going through problems. They've sat to their manager this week, so it's two sides that are struggling for form, and therefore I'm just going to say, they, they, say they're going to share the spoils. I think this one's going to be a one all draw. Club Bruges versus Manchester United. So he hasn't been here all video. He hasn't, we've all missed him, I know we have, but resident Manchester United expert is going to give us this, his take on this game and this game alone. Over to you, Thomas. Manchester United versus Bruges. Two sides that you can say play football. In fact, at most, that's really all you can say about them. Bruges play football in Belgium. Man United used to play football in England. Now they just kick a ball about and complain about things. But... Enough said about that and my depressing thoughts on this. Man United Bruges is the perfect opportunity for Man United to move into the next round of the Europa Cup. Like the Europa Cup provided to Liverpool for years while they were in the doldrums waiting for their chance against Man United, it will provide the same for Man United now as Liverpool waltz to a Premier League title. They'll probably win this. It won't be that exciting. It probably won't be filled with attacking play, but Fernandez has given Man United a small gleam of hope that they may have finally signed a good midfielder. As a Man United fan, every single time we sign a Portuguese player, I just 
in my sleep start saying Ronaldo over and over and over again. And we can only hope that he's 70% of the player Ronaldo was. So Man United will win. They'll win 2 0, but it's going to be pretty boring. And Belgium, you still make nice beer for your football. Eh. Wow, I think he's summed it up in his usual wonderful and ridiculous kind of way. Uh, Club Bruges did drop out of the Champions League, uh, but you would think Manchester United, or you would hope Manchester United would be too strong for this Bruges side, or maybe you don't. Maybe you hope Manchester United suffer a little bit longer than they already have done over the last few years. I think United will win this. I think that um, a sterner test for them to come in this competition, but they seem to be set up to be a pretty decent cup side. Uh, so I think Man United will win this game, and I think they'll win the tie, but in this particular game, it'll be Club Bruges 1, Man United 2. And that'll do it for this first round of the knockout phases in the Champions League and the Europa League. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, go and check out Grandstand Betters. And remember, if you're looking for detailed football analysis, you're probably in the wrong place.